Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lap. So tomorrow is Mother's Day and I happen to know that my mom needs measuring cups. So I went and bought her some steel measuring cups as you can see here. Now this is a little bit boring so I thought why don't I do something interesting, say plate them in gold. So let's dissolve some gold. I've got a little bit of gold here from my gold bullet project. This is just little scraps that I had left over from when I uh, cut the bullet to shape after casting it. You can see here, got quite a bit of gold actually. I think I've got almost over half an ounce right there. It's mixed with some paper bits. So I'll try to select the pieces out that don't have paper on them. So there's actually an easy way to separate the paper bits from the gold, and that's just to blow on it. The gold is very dense, so it'll stay put where the paper will blow away. There we go. Looks like I lost a few pieces, but I caught them back on this paper here. All right, so that's actually probably way more gold than I need, but it's not gonna hurt to have too much. Now I'm gonna add some hydrochloric and then nitric acid. So now the nitric acid, don't really need all that much. The nitric acid is just to oxidize the gold so that the hydrochloric can dissolve it. You can see the solution's color is changing a little bit already. The gold's dissolving. So I just dropped the anvil on my foot. <laughs> Fortunately, I was wearing steel-toed boots and uh, it didn't hurt my toes at all. Although the shoe has got a little bit of a rip in the leather. Uh, these were old boots anyway. But yeah, that's one reason why I always wear steel toe boots when I'm working around stuff. Anyway, well that gold in there is dissolving. I wanted to take a piece of this, one of these chunks of gold, and kind of stretch it out into a uh, long rod that I can use as my positive electrode. Oh, it's crumbly. It's crumbly gold. Hello. Hello, puppy. I might have to remelt the gold or at least anneal it so it's softer. This melting it seems to work, so I'm just gonna melt it together into a long strip. That'll do. So that's actually a nice little gold bar. Very heavy. Uh, my guess is right around 10 grams. So that's about $300 worth of gold. Anyway, here's the solution. Looks like it's mostly all dissolved. So now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pour it into the larger beaker, and I'll leave behind all the sand and stuff. So rinse this out with a little bit of water. Okay, so now we gotta get the gold into a form that is usable for electroplating. I could electroplate with this, but it would form gold that was, it wouldn't be a flat layer, it would just kinda of bunch up into gold crystals. So I need to convert this into a cyanide solution. And one way I know to do that is to neutralize it and form gold hydroxide. The gold hydroxide is soluble in cyanide. And doing it like this, I don't have to evaporate this solution down or turn it into a metallic powder. And there we go, there's the gold hydroxide forming. It should be a brown powder. So now that I've got this solution neutralized and diluted, I'm gonna add a little bit of sodium hydroxide to make a very caustic solution with some sodium cyanide. Let's take a chunk of this out. Let's put this in and dissolve it up. Cyanide, of course, will dissolve the gold hydroxide into gold cyanide, which is soluble. Now I'm going to add the sodium hydroxide cyanide solution to the gold hydroxide. Now hopefully that goes clear. It's definitely going clear. You can see it changing color. Looks like it's gonna take a little bit, 
might even need a little bit of dissolved oxygen to make it work. So it will take some time before this is completely clear. In fact, I think it does produce some amount of metallic gold as the cyanide reacts with the hydroxide, but the metallic gold should dissolve over time as oxygen mixes in with the solution. So while we're waiting for that, let's uh, clean these cups off so that the gold will stick properly. Let's make us a little bit of uh, dilute hydrochloric acid. Just give these a good dunk clean off surface contamination and uh, oils. Now that they've all been blasted with the hydrochloric acid and the surface should be clean, I'm gonna neutralize them with some uh, sodium hydroxide. That way I'm not uh, reacting the uh, acid with the cyanide, which would of course make hydrogen cyanide gas, which is a little bit more dangerous. Negative to the thing I want plated, positive to the gold. So what's happening here is the electrons are going into the negative electrode and they're reducing the gold at the surface of the metal. At the positive electrode, electrons are being taken away. This oxidizes the gold so it dissolves into the solution. As you can see, we're getting a layer of gold on the surface of the part. I might have to go find some alligator clips or something so that I don't have to sit here and hold it. This is going to take a little while. I can just let it sit here for long periods of time. And when I need to, I can take it off and move it around so I can get the other side. It is going to take a little while to get these all processed. But it should look cool when they're done. Okay, so here's the big one. We just uh, let it sit in there for about 20 minutes. Let's go take this out, rinse it off, and see what else needs to happen with it. It seems like I'm going to have to dip them multiple times. Oh, they're getting shiny. It's hurting my eyes. I'm just going to blot this dry. It seems to do better when it's dry. It's like it helps the gold stick to it. It's like once it dries out, then I can get it wet again and it won't be a problem. But it's almost like the water keeps the gold from sticking. So what I've been doing is that after the first dip in the electrolysis solution, just lightly rub it with some steel wool. And if the uh, gold comes off, I'll know that I've got to rub that area to clean it and then dip it again. Yeah, it looks like this back portion here, the gold's pretty thin, so I'm gonna move over to the, to the side. Look at that, it actually takes a polish. Steel wool does quite well for this. Like see here where it's uh, the gold's rubbed off. So what I'm going to do is take the steel wool and just rub this really hard right there to take whatever was keeping the gold from sticking and hopefully remove it in that spot. Now when I put it back in, the gold should be better able to stick to that location. It seems to be doing pretty good on this side right here though. The steel wool is probably pretty harsh but I want to make sure it stays on. You know, I don't want this coming off through ordinary use. Kenyon's got a little bit softer touch than me, so I'm having her finish them up. How's it looking? Pretty good. Yeah? No major bare spots? No, I don't think so. That's all holding up to the scrubbing? That looks good. So there it is, four measuring cups plated in 24 karat gold. How about that? There's still a few spots that the gold never did stick. I never could get it to stick in some certain areas. And also, being 24 karat gold, it is fairly soft. So it will wear off in places, I'm sure. Excessive scrubbing will remove the gold layer, but it should hold up for normal use. Anyway, I'd say we should uh, go give them to my mom. Hey there. Hey! It's a day early, but I need to put the video out, so... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got. <gasps> oh my gosh! They're gold! <laughs> that is super cool! How in the heck did you do that? A little bit of chemistry magic. Look how cool. I won't dare use them though. <laughs>
That is awesome. I, I won't have to worry about them being taken out of my cupboard, being used for another chemistry experiment. <laughs> yep. That is super cool. Very awesome. Fit perfect. Thank you. No problem.